Hello and welcome to another edition of Son of Cad Review. I'm Protomet. I'm Tank. Well, I guess it's just me because he fell down a hole. <laughs> Today we'll be covering Conga, the British Kaju film that. I thought you already reviewed Conga. I I did briefly talk about the comic book series written by Charlton, which is actually the second uh, Son of Kaiju review uh, podcast in a row that I've mentioned Charlton, but uh, that's purely coincidental. <laughs> I climbed myself out of the hole. This this movie is actually the inspiration for that comic, and trust me, the comic is. Quite a bit different from this movie, so it's worth it's worth experiencing on its own. We're talking about the movie. Let's get into it. Airplane crash. Boom! It explodes in a terrible special effect. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that. Very, it wasn't very good. It sounded like the flame was farting. Yeah, admittedly, the uh, <laughs> the special effects in this movie aren't that great but, by today's standards. Yes. <laughs> Uh, they weren't terrible. It was a lot of suit acting, but back then there was a everything pretty much was suit acting technically. Yeah, it was fine for the time. I I wouldn't say that it was spectacular spec special effects at the time. No. But it was probably fine for the time. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, the film more than makes up for it by actually being you know good. <laughs> yeah, and entertaining. <laughs> Congo is you know your generic. King Kong ripoff, but with a different plot. Not that you would know that if you were actually watching the movie for most of its run. Exactly. <laughs> because it doesn't become a giant monster movie until the climax of the film, by which point a lot of stuff has happened, and you might have even forgotten that this was even supposed to be a giant monster movie. Thankfully, the film's poster and, well... DVD and Blu-ray covers reveal, oh yeah, no, this is a giant monster movie. Yeah, because there's a giant ape on the cover. And heck, they, they, they didn't even name drop King Kong on the poster. <laughs> which you're probably seeing on screen right now. Yep, there it is. But yes, plane crash in Africa. Dr. Charles Decker, a year later, is revealed to have not died in that plane crash. And has and had instead been spending his time stuttering, studying the local culture of a native tribe he encountered during his absence. I I don't remember the name of the tribe, but apparently they were quite friendly. They were a little, I guess, a little standoffish towards him when he first couple times he was stayed there, but they got used to him. Yeah, the film really glosses over his time in the in Africa, which is something. One of the many things that I'll actually give the uh, comic credit for. I, uh, quite frankly, I actually prefer the comic book adaptation of this for multiple reasons. What, what, first of which is the fact that it actually uh, shows us his time in Africa. <laughs> he also has a small chimpanzee. Well, it's not even... Yeah, it is a chimpanzee. Yep, a little baby chimpanzee, chimpanzee, it says, named Conga. So there you go, there's your monster. <laughs> yep. So. He's basically uh, telling reporters of his time, but also revealing that he's, he's got some uh, research he wants to do that may uh, be able to link plants to mammals yep. in some capacity. And he, that is an important plot point a little later on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Um, he, he gets home and his secretary slash maid slash just associate partner, Margaret, Margaret, um, ends up greeting him and having tea and they, she's kind of jealous about Conga. A, li a little bit, but uh, <laughs> this is before uh, she has any real reason to... <laughs> dislike anything associated with Decker. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> oh. He's, he's all right now. He's going to change. Oh, he changes quickly. This is definitely a fall from grace mm -hmm. film. But no, he he goes out to the greenhouse where they've been growing the plants they've a been bunch, studying. A, a bunch of flowers and just other greens. 
And he just starts plucking all the flowers and tossing them aside. And Margaret's just shocked because she was, you know, since he's been gone for a whole year, he's been taking care of her, his technically his research. And he's just tossing it aside. Yep. Not not even wanting to donate it to like hospitals or anything. He's like, just, no, he just wants to use it for mulch for the plants that he's going to grow which turn out to be huge insectivorous plants. Yeah, so, like looks like giant venus fly traps and a few pitcher uh, plants, yeah. a saracenian maybe. Mm -hmm. Like there there is one variety of plant in this that looks like it has a tongue that we ha are having a an incredibly difficult time figuring out if that's actually supposed to look like a planter, if or it's supposed just... to look like a, a some sort of snake, <laughs> 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 snake plant. <laughs> it's like, it's like I get again. I recognize the pitcher plant. I recognize it being a fly traps. The hell is this thing? <laughs> Big balloon with a plastic piece for a tongue. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like dripping this white liquid. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, Margaret gets over the jealousy of Conga because he's so cute. He is a cute ape. Yep. And Decker actually uses the, uh, the fluid from the, these plants that he's been growing to create a growth serum, yeah. which he uses to grow Conga from... An infant to a... Uh, not an infant, infant. but... But uh, I, mean, I don't even really want to even say a t like a. I, w I would say maybe adult chimpanzee in terms of act actual. Oh well, yeah. Real because, world size yeah. comparison. But he's, he's definitely gotten bigger. In more ways than one. Yep. Uh, then. That was a weird way way of, of trying to imply that to doc to Doctor Decker. That was. That was weird of me to say. I don't know why I said that said it like that. Really? <laughs> You're not a scientist. <laughs> Conga grows bigger and with it Dr. Decker's ego starts to grow. Yes. Because his serum is um working. But uh, at some point he's has to go back to school to teach a botany class mm -hmm. where we are introduced to a pair, a couple of his students, Bob and Sandra, mm -hmm. who play far larger roles in the comics than this movie would mm -hmm. imply. But they are fairly important characters mm -hmm. for this film. Uh, specifically, Decker has grown a bit fond of Sandra because he views her as a, a star student, yeah. somebody he can trust with his research. As an assistant. And, and Bill? Uh, Bob. Bob. Bob is, I believe, um, Sandra's boyfriend. Or just close friend. Boyfriend. Boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so... He, he <sighs> grows increasingly jealous towards Decker over the course of the film because Decker because is... He's doing a lot of time with Sandra. And... De and Bob <laughs> almost suspects that Decker is intentionally keeping her away from him. Mm -hmm. But Which, uh, that happens later in the film. No, but what's more prominent here is uh, the Decker's conversation with the dean of the university, mm -hmm. who basically tells him, look, you made some pretty bold claims about connecting plants to mammals, and as the dean of the school... Uh, I can't allow you to be saying that because that would basically drag our name through the mud <laughs> with such a ridiculous over-the-top claim, so stop it. <laughs> they got into a decent verbal argument to the point where that, the, dean, that... the dean didn't expel him as a teacher, but he... Uh, Came close, almost feels like. Yeah, but, you know, he, he still is a... Well, I suppose... He continues his work because of an act that comes up a little bit later. But. One Im one significant uh, aspect of this argument is that Decker is arguing that he is willing to share the glory yeah. for his research. With that the school. That he's not uh, egotistical about it. And once the research is done, it'll, it'll be mm -hmm. a great boon for the university. And the dean is like, 
No, no, you're kind of loony. <laughs> you're a bit. That's a bit of a crackpot theory without any evidence. Look, I'm doing the research to get the evidence. Mm -hmm. Just give me some time. It's like, uh. So then, Deku decides to uh, use the enlargement serum to grow Conga to like a a human size. A gorilla. <laughs> yeah. He's no longer a chimpanzee. He's a gorilla. And I, I swear to God, I've seen that costume that they use for Conga in something else. <laughs> because it looks so goddamn familiar. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if the costume either came from or was later used in, like, other TV shows. Good, po good possibility. Um, but, you know, he's... It, it's, it's a costume. It's... The, the Conga outfit is, is a good, good gorilla costume but uh it's it is it, with it being a human in size it's not the same built as an actual gorilla also you can totally see the actor's eyes which is completely on purpose yeah because because you're supposed to see conga's eyes <laughs> in the costume so it it both i both like it and hate it <laughs> 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 because it it means that it's clearly not an actual gorilla. Because yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have a gorilla's eyes. It just has regular human eyes. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, it allows the suit actor to do a bit of eye acting, which I can always appreciate. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've seen plenty of shows that utilize eye acting to great effect. Kamen Rider, the original series, did that pretty early on. Oh, yeah. And I loved that about those early episodes. <laughs> but... <laughs> It's kind of a love-hate to this aspect. At this time, uh, as he injects him to become a gorilla, um, he is hypnotizing Kanga to uh, do his bidding. To murder the Dean. Mm -hmm. Which Kanga does. Huh? Yep, breaks oh, through a window weird. and just strangles him. Which then, of course, leads to a police investigation and them finding gorilla hairs, but not knowing where it's coming from. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Decker, despite uh, despite the dean's secretary telling the police that she o that she overheard an argument between the two, though not what it was about, Decker is able to calmly and co coolly av divert suspicion by claiming, "Oh no, we're just having a debate. <laughs> we had a." We, it was a agree to disagree situation. Pretty, our our well, argument was purely scientific in nature. No, nothing, nothing yeah. untoward. Yep. I certainly did not make any death threats or anything. <laughs> certainly not. Nope. I Which he, I don't think he did. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, he did get pretty angry, but well, he he got yeah angry, and. They're, they're having a, at this time... Um, Margaret Mar Mar knows, Mar what, knows what's going on. She's, she's figured it out. Yeah. She's, she's not dumb. Mm -hmm. She knows that uh, she knows that Deckard used Conga <laughs> to murder the Dean. And is like, well, come on, you did that. It's like, I, that was just a part of the experiment to test his obedience. It worked. So, yeah. yeah. Well, all right, but you got to marry me. Yeah. <laughs> In order for me to keep silent about this. He's <laughs> like, all right, I will. And at no point does he at any point mention this 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 deal late ever again. Not that it isn't significant. It's no. just he kind of just like, okay, okay, we'll do that. We'll be more than assistant and, and professor. Yeah. <laughs> She, you could definitely tell she loved him, but he didn't love her. He was ambivalent towards her. Yes. <laughs> to put it frankly. Oh. One very... Where we start to see his more madness is when his pet cat gets into his laboratory and because they accidentally drop a vial that had the... Before the first... No, what, what happened was uh, uh, the... Professor Decker was actually brewing the serum. Oh, yeah. And it, it boiled over, over mm -hmm. and some of it spilled on the floor. The cat got in and started drinking up the serum. So Decker shot it dead mm -hmm. because he didn't want it 
A, this, this, a cheetah sized cat running around. This is actually the the very first time in the film that that Decker's serum is implied to grow animals to larger sizes. Mm -hmm. This is actually before they actually use the serum on Conga. Mm -hmm. But it is an early indicator that, that he is willing the, to kill yeah. for his research. <laughs> now they have a a house party? Basically. Yeah, or a not they, they I get, I get yeah. <laughs> they, they throw a party at their place. They invite some guests, including a uh, um, another a, so, another botanist mm -hmm. from I think India. Is the implication? I I'm actually trying to find uh, Tagor. Maybe I think Tagor. I can't yeah, know. Professor Tagor. Mm -hmm. I, I can't tell if it's actually played by an Indian man or a guy in brown face, which... It was a different time, okay? But they didn't think it was that bad back then. But it's it's bad now. It, it, anything like that. It's just, no. I, I want to hope that it was an actual Indian, but... Uh, French mother and Greek father, so... I think he, at the very least, all, may have already looked at the part. Okay. This is what he looks like in The Mummy. <laughs> okay, I it can... It, it's... I'm still not quite sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. But anyway, Dr. Ta Professor Tagger and Decker get to talking, and Tagger mentions how he's been working on some research that is remarkably similar to Decker's. Mm -hmm. And Decker even c contemplates like working together, <laughs> but Tagger's like, "Well, I want I want to spend a bit more time on my research first before I make any decisions about that." May I see your research? Oh yes, you can. You know, see what once once I get further along with it. But for right now, I want to mm -hmm. I want to focus on my own <laughs> before I reveal it to the public. <laughs> but he does reveal it to. Somewhat what he... Mostly his laboratory and some of the plants he's been working with. Right, but that is after Decker just makes the decision to kill Tagor with Conga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jealousy. <laughs> Which goes back to what he said to the Dean about being okay with sharing the glory and yeah. how it's, the science is about discovering the truth, not uh, <laughs> making yourself a star, which is... Yeah. Clearly, the the point where the doctor is like, okay, he is willing to uh, throw out his own morals and be such a hypocrite yeah. in the name of because again, this movie is about the descent of a mad of a mad scientist. Mm -hmm. So Tagor's dead. Police are still investigating. That field trip, <laughs> field trip to the forest. Or some wooded area. And it becomes increasingly clear that Decker is uh, growing a lot fonder of Sandra. Yeah. And, and Bob and, notices. <laughs> and Bob's fellow classmates just, like, tease him. So pretty much, Decker has a large van. Well, he's got a holler girl around him, so. <laughs> well, he's, he's, he's holding the entire class yeah. around in the back of it. <laughs> Like, it's not like he's going around kidnapping people. No, no just murdering them. <laughs> he does kind of have one of those looking vans, though. He does, but... <laughs> okay, but... All joking aside. Um, he... The class goes... Gets into the back. Um, he... Decker asks Sandra to sit up front with him so we can he can talk more about... Research for the for like, the, topics on on the, on the field trip to discuss and and Bob's like, is there room room up like nope up? only two seater. <laughs> He's like you gotta you gotta get in the back. <laughs> he goes and one of the friends is like you have to be with the the minions like us the pe <laughs> the pe <laughs> the peasants the peasants. <laughs> None of the other ones have students have names. So, no no. no. I, I think, like, maybe two get named offhand yeah. in an earlier scene, but... But 
That was just more a case of the professor basically telling them to open the shades after a, yeah. after he showed them a film, which is not super important, but it's basically the closest we come to seeing the natives he interacted with. Yeah. Again, well, not super important. <laughs> no. Um, they're, they're in the back of uh, Decker's vehicle, and they're just picking on um, Bill. And Bob. 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 Bill. Bob. <laughs> Bill Bobbo 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 they get to the site uh, where they gotta search for ferns for their research mm-hmm. projects. Uh, then it starts to rain, and everybody goes to this ranger station, mm-hmm. uh, ways down the road. Uh, everybody except uh, Decker and Sandra arrive early, early enough, and they start throwing a party. Then Decker and Sandra arrive, having just gotten out of the rain. The professor is like, "Okay, well." I think we can all safely say that this field trip has been a wash due to the rain and it not letting up any time. Um, we parked the we parked the van as close to this place as we could, but it's still a ways down the road. Uh, Sandra, you help everybody get to the van. And, uh, I will luck up here. <laughs> Bob does leave, but then he comes back in to confront Decker because he 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 strongly suspects that Decker is trying to move in on his girlfriend, which. He totally is. Oh, yes. The, the, there's a later scene that we're going to have to discuss. Oh, oh that, yeah. That, that, <laughs> it's like, ooh. That it's just like, it's, it's wrong. It's just wrong. <laughs> but the argument eventually comes to blows. Yes. And... Uh, by the way, Decker struck first. Then Bob being a... Tried to strangle him. <laughs> a... You know, arguably in in the heat of the moment. Yeah, a he... crime of passion <clears throat> throughout the situation. But... Yes, so he realized what he was doing, and he let go. It's like, okay. And then they have a... Decker is like, you know, I should uh, use this to get you expelled. But I won't. But I'm not going to. <laughs> you need to work on your temper. Let's what? let's just what? get back to class, get back to the stool, and mm-hmm. take care, and... And just go on with our deal. Um, Sometime later, Bob uh, leaves his leaves his family at the dinner table. Okay, uh, before he actually <laughs> leaves, the conversation what he has with his family is just fucking hilarious. Espe- especially his younger sister and brother, who yeah. basically have differing views on relationships. Yeah. He's too young to know what relationship. The little are. boy is too young to know. <laughs> the do- the the sister is <laughs> is like old enough to understand, but <laughs> not probably old enough to have a boyfriend. <laughs> and the, the the dad goes, like literally, Bob just has a piece of meat, and he's starting to leave. He's like, you didn't, you barely ate. He's like. I don't want to keep Sandra waiting. Hey, I, I was with your mother for I don't know how long, and I always ate before. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good family dynamic, which yeah. uh, it's a nice, a, nice bit of character development before Bob is murdered by Conga. Yep. <laughs> and you know, they the parents pretty much hear his motorbike just tipped over, still running, and. They they come out, but it's after Conga has already fled the scene, mm-hmm. and even Decker, uh, who had been waiting for Conga nearby, notices met, some just, two bobbies just hanging around. <laughs> yeah, two officers just put out on patrol, and thank thankfully for him, uh, he manages to get Conga squirreled away, and in, they take off the... before. <laughs> but now the now the police are dealing with three murders that seem to have some connection to. To each other, but they can't quite figure out what that connection is. <laughs> At a certain point in the in the film, um, Margaret and Decker are having a conversation, and he's like, "We will ha- we'll, we'll, we'll kill Conga. We'll you know go back down to Africa, get more plants, get it, you know, get another another ape. We'll start over for. I've, I've done three t- experiments to prove that Conga." 
uh, can, that Kanye can be controlled, mm -hmm. and that my growth serum works. So we'll just we'll just start over with a new specimen for. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And Margaret's all for it. And then, like maybe a couple days later, Sandra's invited over for tea, and Decker wants to show her his. Uh, he, he, he starts uh, flattering her, telling her how impressed he is with her research and uh, how wants, he wants to tur turn her into a research assistant. More more than just a, a, a student assistant mm -hmm. at the school. No, he wants to invite her to, to join in his research. And uh, it basically evolves in him, to, in him trying to force himself on her. Yes, and I... <sighs> I know there's plenty of movies that have that act in, in that, in them. It's bold that they actually show the act happen, but this movie it, never had. It's it, it, just mostly mo him forcibly kissing. If she didn't fight it, it back, doesn't, doesn't involve any nudity. Yeah. He, and she does certainly try to fight back, and it is really at this point that any. Any sympathy we could have had for the doctor is right out the fucking window. I mean, <laughs> ideally it should have been gone by the time the first murder happened, yeah. but... <laughs> but it's just like, no. It's like, no, no, no. It's like, no. And of course Margaret sees this entire thing going down, and she's like, well, fuck this. Yep. She prepares an injection to give to Conga, and then okay. hypnotizes him into wanting into killing Decker, mm -hmm. or at least she tries to. Uh, unfortunately, she gets the dosage wrong, and sh she's not very good at the hypnosis. No, because then Conga starts growing massive. Yes, yeah, so it starts off a little bit bigger, or to the point where he's almost touching the ceiling of the laboratory. <laughs> And he picks up Margaret and, and tosses, tosses her into the flaming lab, yep. killing her in a rather g g bloody scene. Yeah. Like, it, like the, the other deaths earlier weren't quite as bloody, but this is... Well, he's g getting much larger and much stronger. So I'm thinking he crushed her a little bit and then threw. Either that or she got bloodied when she hit the... The ground. Mm -hmm. When she hit... The debris that was strewn about the lab at yeah. this point. Yeah. Conga breaks through the basement lab, starts going breaking through the house. <laughs> and I guess Decker is in his mind of lust at this point in time. He's not hearing shit going around his. <laughs> at least not until Conga reaches into the greenhouse from yeah. the, the skylight <laughs> and, and then, grabs him. <laughs> and this is probably one of the more, my opinion, one of the saddest scenes because she. Sandra was innocent, and she gets bitten by one of the plants. And the implication is that she dies. Yeah. Like, because we we never see her after, mm -hmm. never see her get her hand out of the giant fl Venus flytrap. Fly trap. <laughs> so, and Conga takes you know Decker like starts rampaging around town. the The military is brought in to deal with the situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he ends up chucking. Yeah, he ends up checking Decker, and the military and the police just keep firing upon him, and eventually he succumbs to his injuries and uh, shrinks back down to the infant, or at least something that looks like it's supposed to be the infant, because that is clearly not a monkey. No, <laughs> it's like it is clearly a fake. Yep. it is not. It is not a living creature. That is like a doll or something. Yeah. Which, again, the special effects of this movie aren't the greatest. No. but We've seen a lot worse, though. But, yeah, no, and... <laughs> yeah, Tonga growing into a giant is, like, the last ten, five to ten minutes of the movie. Yeah. With the bulk of the climax being Conga rampaging through town, mm -hmm. through London. <laughs> it gets... They believe they, they take him down near Big Ben. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so... I enjoyed this movie. Oh, yeah, it was a great movie. It's, it's no wonder it's considered a classic. I mean, oh, yeah. Special... The, the wonky special effects aside, this is a solid film that 
if you went into it not knowing that it was a giant monster movie, you would have been surprised that it turned out to be a giant monster yeah. movie. But you would have had had an entertaining time the, in, the entire way through because it is well written and well executed. Yeah, the acting is great. You 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 feel less and less sympathy towards Decker over the course oh, of the yes, film. Oh yes, you do. You just. <laughs> When you when you first meet him, oh, oh, good. He's he's got this cute little monkey, you know. And you think well, that changed pretty quick. <laughs> like I said, I I do prefer the comic book adaptation of this, mm -hmm. but only because it changes enough to allow for more growth, uh, character growth. Uh, I wanted to say more issues, <laughs> ah. more issues after the initial adaptation comic, mm -hmm. and. Like I said in my review of the three Charlton comics, this Conga was my favorite of the comics because well, it was I more com it was more consistent in theme. What were you? Which I forget. Which one did you dislike? Oh, Reptilicus slash Reptosaurus because that one was a mess. But <laughs> I talk all about that in that video. Yep. <laughs> But no, sp specifically focusing on Kanga, this was a pretty good movie that had a pretty good comic book series mm -hmm. attached to it. And then there was a sequel movie, which is based on the comic, but only kind of. <laughs> Kanga TNT. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now you remember that movie. <laughs> that one's good too, but... It's like, it's even worse in the special yeah. effects yeah. department. <laughs> They but it's still a fun animal. movie. <laughs> it's still a fun movie. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's craziness. I know. Um, Decker just turns, like like you said, into pretty much a, a mad scientist role. Right. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, I really don't have much more to say. Yeah, no, the, the the film is great from start to finish. Yeah. Like, it could have been better. Like I said, in the comics, the comic spends a bit more time with Decker in the jungle of mm -hmm. Africa. Whereas this one, it just kind of is glossed over. And in the comic, Decker ain't that crazy. No, the, the, the comic paints, paints Decker as a much more benevolent character who just kind of accidentally... Uh, becomes involved in the events of the film. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, he technically causes it all, but he's not the he's not a villain. <laughs> he's not portrayed as a villain. He he never goes so far as to tell Conga to kill anybody. That's just a, a circumstance that is a side effect of his research. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which go read the comic. It's it's a good read. So you go check out this movie. Go check out the comic. Uh, Maybe watch the sequel, the sequel <laughs> slash reboot that came out from SRS Cinema. <laughs> like, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, again, it's a fun movie, but it's like, yeah, no, this isn't really Conga. <laughs> no. <laughs> but that's a topic for another podcast. <laughs> yep. All right, folks, I've been Tank. I'm Protomet. See ya. Bye.